Well, hello everybody. Again, I'm here in uh, Marietta, Georgia. I'm at the uh, Creek Terminal here. Uh, I got to tell y'all that the uh, you can see that at the over the top of the trailers there. There's the, uh, uh, the the long part of the building is the shop. There must be uh, ten different doors. There's oodles of mechanics in there. Uh, doing really quality work. The uh, offices down there, about half of the space at the bottom of the building on that end is parts warehouse. The top half is uh, mainly for drivers. It's both male and female showers. Uh, the, uh, they have a, a big uh, lounge up there with comfortable chairs and a television going in it. Yes, you can change the channel and watch whatever you want if you're into watching TV. Uh, some of the drivers have their own offices up there, believe it or not. I don't know what you have to do to, to get your own office, but some of the drivers do have their own personal office that's uh, under lock and key up there. Uh, the the uh, restrooms uh, also have showers. There's probably in the male side. I haven't been in the female, but in the male side, there's probably uh, eight different shower stalls that are uh, really pristine. They have a a uh, custodian that goes around and cleans everything up, and uh, I'm, I'm that everything up there. The break room, the lunch room, the laundry room, uh, everything is just pristine. But anyway, I'm doing a 34-hour reset here in. Marietta. Uh, take off again early in the morning and go to Pennsylvania and, and do my thing. Uh, uh, Crete definitely has the miles. They have been keeping me real busy. The, uh, the dispatcher and the planner, they understand that I want to drive my clock out every day and, and generally I'm driving over 10 hours a day and I, after the 10 hour mark I start looking for a place to, to park depending on what time of the day it is. If it's early in the day and uh, like before four o'clock and, and I can drive my clock right down to the wire, I will absolutely do it. But if it's late in the afternoon and, and uh, I have an idea that parking is gonna be hard to do, then I'll stop a little or start looking a little early after about the 10 hour mark and then try to find some place to park. Anyway, I am having to stop every week and do a 34 hour reset because I run my 70 out uh, and the, the uh, dispatchers are uh, they have been really good about keeping me rolling uh, I told them is they will never hear a complaint out of me as long as my wheels are turning uh, so uh, that's where I've been uh, there's an, I'm a little distracted there's another driver with a dog going by that in front of me, but anyway, uh, some people have asked about what it is that I'm I'm doing to lose weight. I'm still I'm about 25 pounds down, and I'm losing. And this is first of all I'm on a absolutely no carb diet. It's like keto. Um, I am trying my best to eat little to no carbs at all, which has been once you get past that, then you can really. I didn't exactly lose weight doing that, but when I added this, this is when uh, I started really the weight just falling off of me. I, this is a 20 ounce bottle. I drain the water down to about the top of the label. Uh, then I fill it up to about there, uh, the top of my finger with uh, lemon juice. And I've been, the real lemon is the best tasting one. There are some others that I've tried. And, uh, I don't know that one's any better than the other, but I, I bet the real lemon tastes better. And then that little cone part between the top of my finger and the top, I fill it up with apple cider vinegar. Uh, both of these apple cider vinegar and lemon juice, lemon water, have uh, really good uh, kick starters for your metabolism and they cleanse your liver. and. Uh, with you eating a no-carb diet is forcing your body to start um, burning fat and man does it ever I'm, I'm losing better than a pound a day uh, 
better than a pound a day. So I'm real happy with that. I eat one meal a day. That one meal is generally a salad, one of these smaller salads that I get from, I buy them like five or six at a time. Uh, by the way, all of the Creek trucks come with a refrigerator in them and a uh, inverter, a power inverter. So, But the uh, refrigerator has a little tiny freezer in it and uh, uh, I keep the refrigerator slap full of like salads and meats and basically that's what I'm eating right now. I eat a salad. I bought me a little George Foreman Jr. Uh, grill and it's just big enough to cook like two little hamburger patties or you know two pork chops or something like that and I cook me a meat, a meat every day and normally it, it's like two uh, pork chops or two and they're thin, but two pork chops or two, sometimes I have shrimp. Shrimp are only uh, six calories each, so you can grill a whole pile of shrimp, and you really don't have any calories involved in it, but if they're filling and they taste good, and yes, I use a little bit of, of uh, uh, well, not tartar sauce, but uh, anyway, you get the idea. It looks like ketchup, but anyway, uh, I'm losing weight like crazy over a pound a day and I'm feeling better, I'm breathing better, uh, uh, I got more energy, I'm, I'm doing good, but I'm still, I'm going to lose 100 pounds. I, I was at 254 pounds, I'm down to about 231 right, yeah, 231 right now, uh, so uh, I'm going to lose 100 pounds. I'm going to get down to about 150, 155, somewhere along in there. Anyway, um, Crete has been real good to me. I'm real happy still. Um, uh, all of the routes have been real easy. Uh, the fuel, they do things uh, differently. They Every day, uh, they are ev on every trip, they tell you where to buy fuel. Sometimes you can only buy 60 gallon sometimes you can fill it up uh, but you never run out so they're, they're real good about that uh, but you know some of the nitpicking that they do uh, they're putting every bit of that right back into your pocket so uh, this past week I was off for four days four days I went home uh, after my 20 what 26 days out 28 days out and I took four days off so and then when my paycheck turned around this Friday, I still, after taxes and everything, they still put over $800 in the bank. Uh, there's a lot of weeks with the other company I was working for that I didn't even gross $800. Not after tax, that was before tax, I didn't even gross $800 a week. With Crete, I can, <laughs> I can, uh, take four days off and still after tax and after all my expenses uh, insurance and paying for this stupid CPAP machine they put me on that's why I'm losing weights over this freaking CPAP machine I can't sleep with my wife I damn sure ain't sleeping with a machine so anyway the machine's got to go it's got to go and the only way I can do that is to lose weight so by God I'm losing weight anyway if y'all have any questions, uh, be sure and, and put them down there in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them any way I can. Uh, I will be as honest with you as honest as uh, can be. Uh, I'm not going to pull your leg. If you do call in to uh, talk to the recruiters, they're pretty honest too. I, I tried them out because I had already talked to uh, several Creek drivers before I even called them. So I'm real happy with Creek. Uh, H-O-D-K-E is my driver code. Thanks a bunch, and we'll see you next week.